Hi everyone, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm back where we left off, well a slight bit before because it's just where it loaded me and now I'll go talk to Pearson again but I hope you're enjoying. Thank you all so so much for the positivity on my first episode. I really hope you all enjoy and um, let's continue this journey together. So be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and let's go so this is where I get to use a bow for my first time. I'm excited. I, you take this. I can't use it and you'll have to. I hope to. I'm okay All with right. the bow. <laughs> use a gun and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All, All right. right. Let's, Let's go. Out. And then. There, boy. Yay. You also told me that L3 means I can pet my horsey. Let's go. Get a move okay, on. sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just petting my horsey. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Come on, we gotta stick together. Okay. Yeah. His horse is patterned like a cow. Beautiful. Up, I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Damn, oh, what happened? Watch it. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. Okay. I just can't pull a bow right now. Fair. Uh, I sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. <laughs> You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill? It ain't an O'Driscoll? That ain't an O'Driscoll? <laughs> There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll right. head up this way. Find some higher ground. Alright, I'll follow your lead. <sighs> Been a wild few days, alright. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the O'Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. Oh, I didn't mean it you. like that. Just, just it's been hectic. Yeah. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Mm. I like that they slowly reveal what happened on the boat. It's funny, I've never quite played a game like this. It's like a like a show, like a like an HBO show. Is the vibe. <clears throat> okay now, why is the weather getting worse? <laughs> what in tarnation is going on? As an Australian, I cannot fathom it snowing the month before the start of summer. Like, are you kidding me? Usually the month before the start of summer, She's we're like, okay, that's I'm enough summer here. now. Chill. Let's look down this way. Okay. It's so beautiful. The wind's died down too. Good. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Yeah, good boy. Mm, good boy. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Uh, careful. Do I need it? Oh, yeah, to grab the bow. Yeah, I've been here. And recently. It's a cutscene. <laughs> How can you tell? How can you not? How can you not? Hey! Let's walk it from here. You, t you told me what's up. Alright, now I can grab it. Whoa. Don't leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. Yeah. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. Okay. You lead the way, please. <laughs> You see the tracks? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Maybe not. Focus. You can use eagle eye to highlight animal tracks and clues. Nice. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, 
You'll be able to track Neely as well. It's cool. Right now it's an unknown animal, but I guess you can know what you're tracking as well. Get me. Wait, look. There they are. Are you ready with that bow? Gosh, yeah. It's it's quite far away. Head. The neck quite of the unclean. head. Okay. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Take the shot. See if you can get another one. Another day. How do we know there's more than one? Oh, you can get your arrows back. I like that. So sorry, dear. Um, I don't do anything with you right now. I guess we'll come back after. I get the second animal. And soon I'll need a Ah, oh, there it is. Ooh, there's two. Gosh. Okay. Okay. I think that's all we can carry. All we can carry, okay. Good. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Got my arrows back. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. <clears throat> Sorry about that, dear. Damn, you're big. Oh, I can whistle for my horse. Where's my horse? Am I too far? Oh, as long as you're in range. <clears throat> this is so cool. Here you go. You come with me? Was he? Yeah! Hey, Papa! Oh, I love you! You're such a good boy! Thank you so much for coming. Stone. 
Oh my god, is this gonna be too heavy for you? Opa! <clears throat> Alrighty. Yay! Thank you, horsey! Heck yeah! Alright, now we'll meet up with Charles. Nice work to you too. To keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. Yeah. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. <laughs> it's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Yeah. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems Hope to so. me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We'll still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwall? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn, damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and all. Yeah, we can hear him that. <laughs> the girl, she has a wild look in her eye. Sadie? Uh, of course. She lost her husband, her home. Yeah. Everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here, nothing's more dangerous than someone with nothing to lose. Might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the Odriscoll for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. Oh, so Charles has only been with us been over for six months. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Yeah, they are a big gang because if you took out that much, and there's still more. And Dutch go way back, and not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Go easy. Watch boy. out. Bear up ahead. Bear. Let's see if we can find another way around. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got we can't enough. carry him. No need to push our luck. So another way around is that? Uh, no. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Yeah. So, do I need? A oh no. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to lead. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. You go first. You hear that? Cut up here, off the trail. It's kind of the direction he went, but okay. The bear has spooked your horse. Hold. Easy now. Hmm. Poor horsey. I'm sorry. We'll get away from it soon. <laughs> How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Yeah. Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah, 
Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. Mm. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. Yeah, that's stressful. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. <laughs> this suits me. Aww. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes. <laughs> Dutch is certainly different. Certainly you different. Be fair. Aww. Most of you do. Oh. With a black father and an Indian mother. Oh, that interesting. That's so cool. Native American Pretty and Native. African American. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. Good question. Twenty years. Twenty. Like Since I was a boy. Wow. Twenty years. Yeah. <laughs> Taught me to read. Aww. John too. Oh damn. Me a few other things in Hosea. Huh. That's so sure. cool. Yeah, like you've been such a huge part of your life. Save most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. Yeah. He always sees us right. Oh, he's like Papa Dutch. He's the dad of the group. A leader and a dad. How's that new horse? He's alright. He'll do for now. He's a good boy. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest I of feel so bad for the horses. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Oh. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. He didn't like you. He yeah, bucked you. <laughs> Aww. The horse is loyalty to Dutch. <laughs> well, I'm guessing the count is Dutch's horse. How did the horses like feet and hooves not get like frostbite. Sorry for my ignorance, I, I don't know that much about horses. And how they survive such extreme climates when, you know, they're not that fluffy. And they're not that I'm fat either. Like, food back, boys. whales do it because of all the blubber and same with like, um, whatchamacallit, like walruses and stuff. But they ain't got no blubber. Pearson. Oh, and, uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. Aww. I showed you a little. There's a lifetime of practice to master. Well, thank you for your patience, Charles. I appreciate it. Well, well, well. Alrighty. Just drop it down in here. Oh, why can't? Oh. Oh, just down on the floor. What okay. surprise! Guess you gotta camp skin it and stuff. Loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Oh, I, I do my really. utmost. It's his sad way of showing affection. <laughs> no, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, Damn. See you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Jesus. Rum, sir. Yuck. The only thing. The only thing. <laughs> keeps you sane, it does. Yeah. Oh, oh it keeps you crazy. Treat on you. <laughs> the hand, Charles. I'm be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <laughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. No. We'll see you both later. Okay. You Rest up, Charles. You Thank you so much. You made it look a lot easier than it is, but okay. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. Can I keep the yeah, pelt? You said you were a butcher. 
You know, you could trade these, sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you yeah, catch anything else, turn. you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Yeah, getting that raw meat on your clothes. Survive. Just make a good stew. Don't Damn. need it. It's been a tough few days. <laughs> a few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. <laughs> Who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall? Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here then? I owe you. Yeah. No, you owe Javier. Yeah, you'll pay me. But for the moment, you just rest. Arthur. I think it's time Dutch. for the train. Hey. Want me to come? Of course I do, but... <laughs> Well, he's here lying there, oh, half dying. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. It's Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is oh. an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. <laughs> now. Railway man. Damn. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. Yeah. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in black water. You fancy heading back there? No. Mm. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. <laughs> Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. <laughs> Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. So that's so cool. He's a white horse. That's the count. All right, let's head out. All right, y'all. Oh, we're doing it. Mm -hmm. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the Odrisky, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. Okay. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars and deal with any guards. Mm -hmm. What do I do? Micah, yep. You head straight for the back. Okay. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. Mm -hmm. You and me, Morgan. All right. Hey, have you got a problem okay. with that? Not if you keep your head for once. <laughs> you worry about yourself, huh? Enough. God damn, they are not friends. Close the tracks. We're going to need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep, back of the yes, boss. back of the train. Now come on. Let's ride. Back of the train with Micah. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I've never rocked a train before. <laughs> but seriously, if someone dies, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> like <laughs> we're already just barely coming back from the brink of death. Out of the snow, find a 
Island. Cool. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. <laughs> Does Just Lenny not have a surname? Dutch. <laughs> you sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes nice. for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. Damn. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question? Yeah, I don't think that's. That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. Well, it would be crazy to go back yeah, there. you're not really welcome back there. With we go back when I say we go back, and that's Oops. the end of it. Fair enough. Money safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right. Be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money. Once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up. <laughs> Get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Okay. Perfect. I'm nervous. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Check on Bill. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> um, let's take my long arm. And then, yeah. Cool. Check on Bill. But like... By going down? Is there a problem, Arthur? Hmm. This is a good spot. Yeah. Okay, here we I go. Must remember to thank home Odrisco for planning it out so well for And for providing all the explosives. Is his horse? How you getting on? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Of course. You look like you're struggling. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. And do. Easy does it. Okay. This Lovely. Is good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. All right, be careful. Yeah, here comes Arthur. I'm rather looking forward to it. Just be ready to move quick and remember the plan. Back the car. No mistakes. Cornwall's car. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Show the weapon wheel, okay. <laughs> that includes you, Art. What, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, he switched to items. There we go. Oh, I see, I see. Select goes with the item, press it. Oh. Cover your face, Arthur. How do I put it on? Oh, there we go. I had to hold down the position. Okay. Sorry, I'm silly. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Mike and I go into the back. Here we go. Come on. It was fine. It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Jump on the train. Oh, damn! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh. Come on. Sorry, I thought it was a hold, but it's a tap. <laughs> okay. Slow it down. He didn't make it. Like, he's alive, but he fell. Okay, so we got to get to the front to stop it. Oh, um... I'll take the lead. You cover me. Okay. Oop. Yuck. Dang it, we may interrupt. Got him. Oh, God. Whoopsies. I was accidentally L3, L3. see him. Oh boy. How do I try? There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oof. We moving up. Okay. And now I can So that's for stamina that I help. This one's health core. Cool, there we go. Okay. Got you. Loot. Should we move up? <laughs> we won't mention that. I'll blow your brains out. Oh, girl, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm okay. 
but good Lenny, stay okay. If we don't stop this train soon, the other boys will never catch us. I know, just stay calm. Okay. Oh, he hit me with the shovel! Try and break free, hold up. We did it. I wanted to loot more of the, the men, but it's not worth it if I can make Lenny survive. Okay, okay. Now, let me get to, yep, my long gun. Cool. Come on now. There will be. Yep. There's a lot. Yeah. We're gonna get out of this. Oh, I know we are. Ah! Ah! Oh, that's the other boy! Oop, stay down. Okay, wait. Uh, wrong button. Alright, do this. And then items. Have one of those. Alright. Watch it! More of them ahead! Stay back, Lenny! My god! You go ahead of me. Good shoot, kid. I can see now why the old Triscoll brought so many boys up here for this. Parker, get over here. Okay, cool, they're out, man. Hell yeah, let me loot. Yeah, I will. I'm doing some real important stuff. <laughs> Ooh, horse medicine. Good. I want to be able to heal my horse. Come on. Just doing some important stuff. Yeah, we do. Oh, horsey! I love you! Boy. Let me just... him. Alright. Let's see. Oh <laughs> he's looting him for me. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Stimulant. Damn. You two all right? Mm -hmm. Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. 
any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. All right. Wake him up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Uh oh. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Yeah. Seems good enough. Now, light the fuse. Here we go. All right, boys, take some steps back. Lovely. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My we just want to rob your boss. Yeah, exactly. You, you guys. Get on up there. Search that train. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, not me. Oh yeah, no me. After. <laughs> they go first. Beautiful. Look at this place. It's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Damn. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh yes. yeah. Should be easy as cake. Loot. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that. <laughs> He's king. I'll give you that. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive okay. payment of $2,000 for the initial way. phase of exploration at the Wapiti Indian Reserve um, Ambarino, as agreed in the contract between Cornwall, Kerosene and Tar and the Le Leland Oil Development Co Company dated November 9th, 1898. On receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases two and three of the project and present uh, you with a detailed report of our findings within the month. Yours respectfully, James Critchley, so. head of accounts, Here. Leland Oil Makes Development Country. Useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, Cigar. blah, blah, blah. Fine brandy. Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some... Fancy Dear Leviticus, thank you for the telegram and for your and for your right, continued right, interest right, in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any news you have received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Annisburg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to a business meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and educate each other on our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Annisburg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated yeah. facilities. I look forward to further correspondence. Let's keep looking. Yours sincerely, Archibald Jameson. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? Getting there. Uh, well, keep looking. There must be something. No, this box. Looks like something. What is it? Bond. Okay. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> Bill stack. That's what's up. Lovely. Oh wait, I can can take the pocket watch. Hold up. Just have to like angle <laughs> myself. I could take it for a sec. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. I just had to, uh, you know, stand in in a particular way. 
What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. I mean, they're not bandits. They're not going to um, Take them with you on the train. Just follow make us. Sure they're they just... don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you okay. back at camp. When they're you like, get uh, back, we'll be moving on. Rich. The rest of you, let's ride. Like aristocratic people, they don't really do down and dirty stuff. Um. Okay, get on the train, quick, hold it. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. <gasps> Oopsies! It said R2 to aim. I thought we had a deal. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry. I didn't want to kill you, but. You didn't get on the train. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car. You'll end up like all your friends out here. Okay, sorry. Sorry, he wasn't getting in the car. Um, my bad. I'm so sorry. Anyway, there's stuff I can loot in here. Oh, wait, yeah. It is. It just said R2 to aim, but then it shot immediately. <laughs> it wasn't an aim. <laughs> Candy? Chocolate bar? Cool, maybe I can give it to the kid. I can't take any more snake oil. <laughs> I wasn't gonna kill any of them, but at least the two two of them in the back are fine. <laughs> Loot. Okay, start train. Wuzzy! So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. Okay. We'll be able to hide out there no problem. Sounds great. As long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's go. It clean isn't. noses and everything else. Clean Arthur, noses and everything else. You're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know okay. you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. No, we love Dutch. Cool. Alrighty. We're fed. We're healthy. We did it. Moving on out. Beautiful. 
At least with all this fresh snow and these lakes, you're, you're good for water. Even though they drink like whiskey and stuff to keep themselves hydrated because it's cleaner than most of their water. <laughs> I'm sure their, their moonshine and all that is Micah, mighty up clean <laughs> and out yes, of you two ride up ahead no bacteria sure can survive in that. We've had of those. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Be careful. Yay, no snow. God, I control carriage. Oh dear. Get us out the street. <sighs> Gotta keep us moving, but calm. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Let's take a look. <laughs> How'd that happen? You all right back there? <laughs> we Everything lost a whole wheel. Right. <laughs> What's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on. All right, I thanks, boys. Still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Shut up. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. there. Cool. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? They wanted trouble. Oh, okay, cool. We wouldn't have seen them. As long as they're not the Driscolls. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Mm. Come on. Indeed, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Story time. Nice. Not too Good job, team. Now. Stay on this trail. Follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, Maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. That's awful. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? <laughs> we don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. <laughs> hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget. This here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? It's a beautiful area. I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. Mm. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But wow. When we were forced to move from our lands, cool. the three of us fled. Moved amongst I was too young to really remember Native much. Americans. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. Mm -hmm. We never saw her again. Horrible. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13. I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. <laughs> but he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. 
I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? <laughs> uh, it's a long story. We've got time. We I want to hear it. Heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our you are now hot. This is shown by the flashing sun icon. Your hope Let's hope to avoid not. becoming hot, Unless make sure you wear the clothes gold. appropriate for the environment. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. Horseshoe it's a good Overlook. Place to lie low. It'll do for now. Okay. Can now I change my outfit really down or maybe later? Lie. It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel mm. right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go really? wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Don't look at his wild horses. It's a beautiful area. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good Ooh. for the health. Tea? Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, I don't want to run over. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. I acquired some herbs. Cool. Oh, we're used in cooking. Huh. Okay, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Compendium. American ginseng. Awesome. This area is so beautiful. What a gorgeous part of the world. Fairies in. A lovely area. A much better place for horses than a snowy mountain top. <laughs>
how numb do you reckon your butt would be on a hard wood carriage like that? <laughs> Like, I know a saddle is not crazy comfy, but... Hold R1 to bring the rack wagon to a stop. Okay. And then I'll get out? Okay, now you just want to hit to ride. Okay, let's go! Cool! Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Yeah, what you doing out here? Oh wait, we go well, right. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. Yay. For now, anyway. Yeah, it seems like very beautiful, fertile lands. And it's warm. That's what matters. <clears throat> What a lovely spot for our kids! Home, home. Beautiful! Good job, team! You were wrong, Hosea! This place is perfect! <laughs> I hope so. Gentlemen, Good job, Hosea! We have survived! For now. Now! It Ooh! Is okay, look at your fit, Dutch! We were on to something big. Look then at it. Real nice. you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. God, what I would do for Dutch's confidence. <laughs> In my I dreams. That long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a, a long What's way wrong with from east? Dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother. Why do but they? We are well, the west so we bad. Oh, because the east is more like cities. Again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Nice. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified. <laughs> dignified. <laughs> now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Mm. Now get out there and see what you can find. Okay. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named Valentine. Valentine. Black town, all mud and morons, if I remember oh. right. That <laughs> seems a decent place to start. Damn. And uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Cool. Donate money and valuables to camp. Now, upgrade ammo, food, there. and other camp supplies. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. Oh, you two thank will be you. Ready shortly. We put you over here. Oh, that's I'm so sure lovely of you. Everything will be fine, Mr. Sure. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything now she looks very Edwardian and 1900s. She's a modern we woman. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson. Sleep, shave, change clothes, or store weapons in the weapon locker at your tent. Cool. <laughs> it's just like how uh the good does it in the good, the bad, and the ugly by striking on his shoe. Chapter 2, Horseshoe Overlook. A couple of weeks later, back in the mud. Oh, it's so beautiful! Oh, 
it's got off the pretty. mountain. Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. It's so pretty. We've been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more. Aww. I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think okay. we all feel a little happier. I'm glad. Spot of black water and that whole mess. Ooh, I like my new outfit. Hi there. Jose. Well, you look great. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. <laughs> I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and you? I'm going to read a book. Enjoy. You deserve it. <gasps> Wow! Ooh, I've got a camera? Hell yeah! Your beard is getting long. You can use the shaving kit beside your tent or visit a barber to shop to maintain your facial hair. Oh, Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. The first time in weeks. Nothing. We're free. Oh. We're free. To plan our own futures once more. Give me a hug. So, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. No. I love okay. you. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Arthur. <laughs> Why would I antagonize? Cool. All right, let's talk to everyone. Good morning. What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. No, oh, I don't know. You ain't been yourself for a while. Hmm. I'm sorry, Mom. Right, well, okay? I should be getting on. Well, I'm not much company. Take care. Hmm. Maybe her Irish soul doesn't like the heat. <laughs> Let her. Can I get some room? Sorry, what does that say? I don't know. I was a girl until your call commanded me to cross the sea. I've nothing left, I gave you all. My darling Liffy was so small. Your land and love are vast and free. I was a girl until your call. You stood strong and dark and tall. You stole the heartbeat out of me. I've nothing left, I gave you all. Your lips enchant, your eyes enthrall. Your empire is ecstasy. Um, oh, uh, I was a girl until your call. Your parasites and lackeys crawl, mocking a love they dare not see. I've nothing left, I gave you all. I sit in solitude and scrawl. These wretched words and wait for thee. I was a girl until your call. I've nothing left, I gave you all. Aww. Beautiful poem. <laughs> is there anything further? Um, Alright, so this is my shaving set. Trim. Facial hair. Oh, like, wait, what? Oh, cool. Yeah, like a little bit. Let's do that one. Beautiful. Uh huh. Hey, that's nice. Um, okay. Let's talk to you. If you don't mind, I know you're reading. You were right about this place. It's a good spot. You'll do for now. For sure. Okay, I'll catch you later then. See you later. <laughs> Charles photograph. Oh wow, that's his parents. So beautiful. Oh my god. Do we have a, uh, what's it called, the phonograph or whatever it is? Can 
retreat. So what does that mean? Which one's which? Give money. So do I have 49? Sure, let's do that. Is that enough? That's what I like to see, all right. <laughs> cool, yeah, yeah, I had 49, beautiful. I like to see that. How you doing, sir? Morning, Mr. Morgan. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yeah, you feeling yes, warm? Indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah. Yeah, for all of us. Well, I should get back to it. Sure, Arthur. Is this? Chop. Oh, firewood. Cool, we can make firewood for everybody. Oh, Sadie. Damn, Sadie. We both know the bravery is in the living. I, I don't know you very well, but I can tell you're brave and sad. I really can't. I don't seem very brave. Nonsense. You're about the bravest woman I ever met. Mm -hmm. Wait. That tells me you got the so did that not count as doing any of it? Okay, I guess I need to do a certain amount. I know so. Excuse me. I'm always around. If you need someone. How do I know when I've done enough? <laughs> I, thought, I guess there's only one log left. Oh no, that was it. Cool, there we go. Ooh, dead eye. Progression level two. Beautiful. All right. If there's anything else we can do, just let us know. Oh, Sadie. Yeah, there ain't nothing you can do. All right. Well, you just holler. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Okay. You ever miss Austria? Oh, you're from Austria. Sometimes, I suppose. Oh, what made you Guess come over here? Where the heart is. Okay, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Someone doesn't want to talk to me. <laughs> Whatever then. It ain't good, but if we keep him, it'll pass. Still a big country. Don't feel quite so big no more. That's the modern world. I think I like the old ways better. <laughs> Me too. How you doing, John? We might be less doomed if you pitched in and did oh. some work. <laughs> I didn't press antagonize. I nearly died. Oh, don't worry. I know. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk more later. Yep. Aren't we just a bunch of besties? Alright, who else can I talk to? Mm. 
Did you hey, and Lenny. see anything when you rode ahead? Nothing we need to worry about. Okay, good. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Arthur. You okay there, Tilly? I'm okay. Warm at least. Yeah. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. Where do you want to sure. go? Well, I should get back to it. Yes. See you later. Karen? How you doing, Karen? Oh, all right, I guess. Grimshaw's driving me crazy. Well, Which one's Grimshaw? Change there. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure, Arthur. And Mary Beth. All right, Mary Beth. I'm bored out of my mind. Oh. Been cooped up for days. <laughs> well, bored is better than freezing. It sure is. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sure thing. Pick up. Top up water in the wash bin. Cool. Where from? My cancel. Oh, I don't know where that's from. How about this one? Take the sack to Pearson's wagon. Cool. Where's his wagon? Look which one is. Is it this? Nope. If I prick my finger again, I see. Where I'll just throw this on the fire. I'm happy to swap later if you want. I'm sure Grimshaw would find some problem with that. I don't know where his wagon is. Oh yeah, I guess it'd be by him, actually. Silly me. Oh my god, we've still got that guy tied up, eh? That's crazy. My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. Here you go, put down. I don't give a damn. Yeah, well, we'll leave it there then. Good to see you. Ooh, what is this? Let on. January, uh, January 12th, 1894. My dear Leonard, it is only three days since you and your mother stood on the platform so dutifully until my train was out of sight, and already I feel compelled to write. How handsome you looked then. You must learn chastity young, and learn it well. There are truths a man m of my upbringing finds it easier to set down than to speak. Even to his son, I expect this is not easy for a boy to understand. In some ways, I hope you do not understand it. Here is one such truth. I know that I have sometimes been more tutor than father to you, but do not let my sermons on your future as a lawyer persuade you that I see you more as a pupil than a son. When we meet again on Sunday next, I expect I will have stiffened once more. But this brief distance gives me liberty to tell you that you have redeemed more than you know or can ever know or should ever be expected to bear. I expect the yard to be clear of snow when I return. I see that it bores you, but you must learn to accommodate yourself to all useful labour, however menial. And as always, read this letter aloud to your mother, and where I have written is not, do not say ain't. I am, as ever, your loving father.
This is to certify that Marion Wilson Williamson is hereby dishonorably discharged from the military service of the United States by reason of attempted murder and deviancy. Dated this 27th day of December 1892. Officer in charge, Colonel Harold T. Irving, 15th Infantry. That was Bill. Oh no, same one. Interesting. I see her and Bessie. Oh. September eighteen eighty three. I see her and Bessie Matthews. The other sack. Well, I'm at it. Ah, good. You're moving those. I Don't took inventory on them. I'm yesterday. starving. It's not where I put it. It's where I put the last one. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, put it down at the front. Oh, dang, that's so pretty. How are you going, Susan? What do you think of this place, Susan? An improvement on the last, that's for sure. <laughs> well, that ain't too hard. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then, Arthur. Lovely. Oh yeah, I've spoken to you. Alright, cool. Let's see how my horse is doing. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How you doing? How do I love on you? Slightly restores health, core, and stamina core or greatly. Sure, can I give you one of those? Yeah! Cool. <laughs> Alrighty. Now if I go to my tent and I sleep, does that heal me? Oh, whoa. Cool. I like the one I already have. Oh, that's cool. I like 
Not a lot. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. He's already got that on. Lovely. Okay, sleep. I guess. Morning. When you gain or lose weight, or your will be shown in your health core. Did I, did I do either? Whoa! Zoological Compendium of Earth's Creatures. Moose, badger. Skunk. Beautiful. What is this? Doesn't say. Hmm. First bank robbery newspaper scrap. April 15th, 1887, Brazen Bank Robbery. Three men sought. Major T.J. Belford has been a cashier at the banking house of Lee and Hoyt for a number of years, but nothing prepared him for what transpired last week. It was about two o'clock. Three men, strangers to me, came through the door and walked up to the counter. One of them, the eldest of the three, was a fine talker and engaged me in conversation. Suddenly, the largest, a big, sullen young man, brandished a firearm and held it up to my face. Throw up your hands. The third one said, who appeared to be the boss? The other two repeated the order with an oath and the leader said, my fine patriotic friends and I are going to relieve you of that gold and introduce a few folks to the benefits of civilization. They came around to the counter and grabbed some sacks which contained $5,000 in gold. They demanded to know where the rest of the money was and I pointed out three sacks containing silver, but it was too bulky for them. They reacted and warned against sounding an alarm. I was never so terrified in my life. Mr. Belford told a reporter, the robbers are reported to have lingered in town and there are unproven claims that the men traveled to hovels and shanties and even a home for orphans and gave handfuls of the ill-gotten gains to the poor. Oh, cool. Beautiful. Okay, Robin Hood. Good morning. Uh, feels like we're back on track, more or less. Yep, money and food. Now everyone needs to keep it coming. For sure. For sure. <laughs> well, I should get back to it. Oh Thank my you, goodness. Look at your outfit. John. You. Stronger, sure. Good. But not strong enough to work. Okay, well, we'll <laughs> talk more later. All right, then. There she is. <laughs> Morning, Arthur. Morning. Everything okay? Oh, yes. Just doing what I can to help out around here. Nice. Thanks, Tilly. All right, Arthur. Can I give you some chocolate, Jack? How are you, Jack? Here you were sick? A little bit, but Uncle Hosea gave me some medicine. Oh, nice. Okay, good. 
Okay, I'll catch you later then. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, hey, Abigail. Abigail. Settling in. Good. Nice. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right then, Arthur. Well, whatever else is in store for us, Arthur, I'll tell you one thing. What's that? The rare old pleasure not to be freezing our <laughs> balls off up in those mountains. <laughs> You're not wrong there. Be well. <laughs> you Thank too. You, Lovely. Okay, so... There are missions. Uh... The map? Where's that? Uncle. Uncle needs to speak to you. His uncle. Oh, there you are. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh, damn! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. <laughs> Does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Cool. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. All right, bored cool. out of our minds. Yeah, sure, you guys are bored. Now. <laughs> Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. Let's go. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Civilization. Like since we did. Yeah, oh. Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> I guess it's a, it's a little rough town. <laughs> Let's go. Woohoo. All right. All right. To the trees here, then take a left. Beautiful. Let's go, team. Go see the town. That's a nice horse. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, bye. Alrighty, cool. Ladies, sing us a song. <laughs> Hell yeah. I got a girl in Fairyville. All right. Okay, I was hoping for a nicer song than that. <laughs> He's clapping. <laughs> he loves it. Drink that 
Okay, you got any nicer songs? <laughs> How about some sea shanties? You know, not very of the 1890s. <laughs> cool, there's another carriage across the way. Seems like a friendly area. Oh, damn, he Look at that Koji. He's all over the Yeah, place. what the heck? Oh, oh, Do you need help? Alright, I'm coming. Hold up. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Uh huh. Oh, I got lumbago. It's very serious. Alright, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago. <laughs> Lumbago. Hey, sir. Right there, friend. Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? I'll try. Help. I'd really appreciate the help. I I'm worried this one here will bolt on me too. Okay, that's fair. Sure, no problem. Okay, calmly right. escaped horse. Hey, it's the white one over there. Yes. Oh my goodness. Looking at L2. Okay. Whoa, easy. Whoa. You're okay, Papa. You're okay. It's Daddy. Cool. Can I pat you? Say pat. That kind of. Oh, there we go. Yay! Easy, you're alright. You're alright. Come on now. Oi. You're a good papa. Make sure no trains calling. Cause that'd be mighty bad. Okay, we good. <laughs> You're a good horsey. Yeah, there, you got it. <laughs> the girls are cheering me on. Thank yeah. you. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. <laughs> of course, no, no worries. Not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Cool. All right, you you're gonna be fine from here. Lovely. Come on, let's go. To right. Valentine. We did it. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that? A fairy godmother. <laughs> a small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't your pulse of a lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. Thank you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here. I probably would have robbed him. Oh, <laughs> you did. <laughs> he says that while he's right there. <laughs> he's waiting for the train to pass. Don't mind me. Fabulous. Look how beautiful this place is.
both ways before you cross. Cool beans. <laughs> is that what you guys missed? Or is that uncle? Very funny. This looks like a decent little town. It's cute. Other people. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Oh drama. Or to do any real work. Oh tea. She's a society lady Ooh. now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Thank you for waiting, sir. Such a cute town. Okay. Ooh, sorry there. Go left here, down the main street. Beautiful. Ah, so there this is the main right. street. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Ooh, Main Street. Keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Cool. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Sounds good. Very pretty location for a town. Just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Imagine we're in Paris. <laughs> So that's right, how you uncle. see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Oh, damn. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. <laughs> no. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second, second favorite. Second favorite after Ringworm. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. <laughs> then you. Third. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. All right. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking Look at the ahead, candy. You? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Coffee. Full stock cool. list in the catalog here on the counter. Thank Whiskey's you. on the top shelf, nearest the door. Um, I would like some coffee. For my peeps. You're not Inficients. getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Where's coffee? Is it dry goods? Here we go, ground coffee. Beautiful. So, you're actually buying for once? <laughs> Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. I don't cool. know what the smell is. <laughs> Well, that's a wrap cheese, all right. Um, so it's provisions. Horse care. So it's horse medicine. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, Just that's fine up. whiskey. Ooh, horse revival. God, that's expensive, that but I'll Let's go wait for the mouse. one of those. From severe injury. Damn. Okay. Get one of those. Maybe one more of those. Yeah, do not be cruel to your horse. I agree. Lovely. Oh, clothing. Hmm. 
lovely. I feel like I've got all of those. Yes. I don't really care like as much about the best pants. Saddle jeans. Those look cool. Yeah, I like those. Beautiful. Cool. Riding gloves, rifleman gloves. Boots are expensive. Okay. That's all for now. Thank you. How do I leave? <laughs> there you go. Thank you, sir. Well, I already bought coffee, but I'll buy it again, I guess. <laughs> all the best, there we go. Toodaloo. Coffee. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Oh, <laughs> you know, as you do. Oh, shoot, am I drunk? I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Not a girl. Like a servant girl. Usually. Not a girl. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> Right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? <laughs> Seemed easy. Seemed easy. <laughs> for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Don't want there to be trouble. There's Tilly over there. That does oh. not look ideal. Excuse me. Yeah, excuse me. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off him! Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Don't Who touch are her. you? A friend of mine. Get off her. Just fine. <laughs> or what exactly? Oh. You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Of course. Search the hotel for Karen. Okay. Wait, can I? There we go. I'm quick. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. I hear there was a big shoot up in the Grizzlies at Ewing Basin. Old Driscoll boys, folk are saying. I'm not talking. Can I help you, sir? Um, question. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. That's what I hear. Who said that? Well, well. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, so that's what I hear. <laughs> To be. Oh, no, not this way. <gasps> oh, no, you ain't. Hey, how are you? A friend of hers. 
first. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. I paid you. You think you're tough? What the hell are you doing here? I can loot him. <laughs> That's what you get. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometime. Okay. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. Yep. We'll find. I think he's just knocked out, but uh, from you. the alcohol, not me. <laughs> Thank you for your hospitality. <clears throat> Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being safe, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? Nope. No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? Uh -uh. No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Just a word. Yeah. Please. Hey, I'll be back. Get back here, right now! Sorry, guys. We need to talk, pal! Well, I mean, clearly you do. You, you're the one who started it all. <clears throat> oh my god, dude! Please, Question? I can't get up. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. All right. Come on. Let's stop telling lies. I've never been to Blackwater. Okay? You okay, partner? No. No. <laughs> Why'd you no, try to I run your not. freaking horse off the edge? I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. <laughs> Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. And for you to you saved my life. Tell no further lies. You're a good man, and I uh here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Alright, oh. thank you. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Yeah, should I have? <laughs> Is this going to be a problem going forward? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. Not a boy. We have an understanding? Yep. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not not one lick. Not mm -hmm. one sense in this year old mind. Yep. Never met me before. 
Come on. Come on. <laughs> Alright, let me bring you back to your owner. He can examine. Sure. Wild carrot? Hell yeah, hold up. Let me get more of those. Okay. Alright, let's get you back to your family. Cool, you can give them to your horse. G'day. Don't like that you guys went on either side of me, but as long as you want no trouble, I want no trouble. I brought it back. <laughs> Sorry, is an emergency. Wait, is it your horse or your horse? Pat. Thank you for being such a good boy. Oh, girl, sorry. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just. You son of a bitch! Why'd you swear at me? <laughs> what did I do? I let the horse to you. <laughs> sorry. Okay, well. That's that, I guess. <laughs> Can I now? I can! Save game! Woo! Beautiful. Alrighty. Alright everyone, I will continue checking out this town in the next one. I really hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe and uh, join me for the next one. I hope you like my outfit. I kind of like the uh, the all dark look, as uh, you can see by my getup. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.